device. It could be a real instrument. It could be a cheese grater like Mr. Maracas has today. Mr. Maracas doesn't have maracas, he has a cheese grater, that's so confusing. It could be a cowbell like El Nino's got today. Or you could be using a mug like we showed before with a pen. You could do that. Have you got a pair of bongos like Hermano has got today? Or are you using uptown saucepans? Upturn saucepans. Have you got some clave? Or are you just tapping your hands? Also, if we bring the volume down a minute. Have you noticed we have an extra special person here today? Somebody's never been here before. We have Rosaria Gracia to join us here today. Let's give Rosaria yeah. another applause. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Okay, let's do some solos. We're going to start with the youngest. We're going to start with our Nino. My little baby of the team. Now, if you are playing a cowbell or a mug, this is your chance to join in with our Nino. Doing your solo, are you ready? One, two, three, four! Woo! Make sure nothing's inside your mug before you hit it. Isn't that right, Alfredo? <laughs> Watch the video yesterday, you'll see why. One, two, three, here we go again! Tell you what, if you are using a cheese grater, could you join Mr. Maracas? And it's going to be a cheese grater solo. Here we go. One, two, three, four! Carefully your fingers, it's a bit sharp. Here we go, one, two, three, four. Tell me what to do. If you are outside at the moment, perhaps you're outside and you'll buy a beach. Turn for a solo. One, two, three, four. One Alfredo. One, two, three, here we go. I think last of all, if you have something that's shaky, that needs you to shake it to make a noise, it's going to be your solo now. Oh, so when you're shaking it, can you move a little bit as well? Try and get as much movement as well as shaking. Here we go. One, two, three, four.
Nice. There's just a quality bit of music on YouTube. Whole lot of shakers. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Everyone. Can we give ourselves a round of applause? They've been amazing today, really good. It's Friday! Hey, I don't know if you noticed, I've moved today. I'm no um, longer on a street in Havana. What I was trying to do was basically trying to find Raul on the beach. Raul, I can't find you. Are you on the same beach as me? No, I'm on the other one. You see, you've got the, these uh, sun hats, you know, I, I mind this. Yes. Oh, so and yep. the beach is another. Because I'm going to say, you know, I, 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 I drove my car here. I was going to say, if you want a lift back afterwards, you know, I could give you a lift. Um, it's yeah. really fun, this car. It's good. Right. So we need to remember everything that we have learned this week. And then also Rosari is going to show us how to do some dancing. So um, we're very, very excited about that because, of course, today being Friday, it's party day. You cannot have a party without some dancing. So let's have Alfredo. Can you very quickly remind us, Alfredo, how does the clave part go? Yes, so we've got the claves and we're going to do, we're going to not play anything on one. So we're going to go one, two, three, play clave. One, two, three, play clave. Over to you. That's it. Great. Easy. Lovely. Right. Okay. Thank you. So who's next? Uh, maybe we'll have El Nino. El Nino on the cowbell. Show us how your cowbell part goes. So here we are. Here we have the cowbell pattern. One and two, Cuba, three, Cuba, four, Cuba, one and two, Cuba, three, Cuba, four, Cuba, one, two, Cuba, three, Cuba, four, Cuba, one and two, Cuba, three, Cuba, four, Cuba. Brilliant. Thank you very much. So remember that. So remember you can do that on a mug if you don't have a mug with a pen, if you don't have a cowbell at home. And um, Mr. Maracas, um, could you show us? how to play the maracas. I can. I hope, I'm sure everybody can remember. It's like this. It goes one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and nine and ten and eleven and until you can't count anymore and then you go back to one and start again. Brilliant. There we go. Thank you so much for that incredibly clear explanation. That was brilliant. We love that. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. Um, so who now? Oh, we need the Guiro part. Um, so remember, our Guiro rhythm was I don't like chicken, I like tomato. I don't like chicken, I like tomato. So, Raul, or oh, El Hermano, Hermano, um, if you can sh just show us that on the Guiro. Here we go. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Hermano. I think, Hermano, you need to turn on original sound. I don't think we have original sound turned on for you at the moment. Um, so, Raul, if you can turn on your original sound, that'd be good. Um, then we can then we can hear you. Right, okay. So, and remember, you can do that on a cheese grater. In fact, let's go back to Mr. Maracas. Mr. Maracas, because we couldn't hear Hermano very well, that, can you just show us that on the cheese grater? Yeah, sure. It goes, um, I don't like chicken, I like tomato. I don't like chicken, I like tomato. Great. And it looks like El Nino's got his cheese grater there ready as well. Oh, good man. Great. Good. And then we had the bongo part. Remember the bongo part. El Nino, have you got bongos with you today? Um, oh, great. Or maybe, Raul, maybe Hermano sounds better. Let's see. If, let's try um, Hermano, um, Raul. Let's see if we can hear you a bit better now. Uh, of course, this is the great thing about doing everything live on the internet. We do always come up with these different bugs. You might notice yesterday uh, that uh, my internet disappeared completely, um, but we managed to keep going, which is great. We've got a great team, so we do occasionally come across these things. So let's have a listen. So, Hermano, Raul, let's, let's hear the bongo part. Can you hear? Do you remember? You place the thumb and then one and two and three. Don't, don't forget to bring the, the fingers down. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Do you remember that? And after four, you go four and one and two and three and two. Sounding good. Keep going. And one and two and three and four and one and two and three. And two. <laughs> Great. Thank you very much. 
There still seems to be a, a few issues with the sound there today for some reason, um, but um, never mind, we'll get there, we'll be able to hear it okay. So, um, have we done all the different parts? I think we've kind of done well, haven't we? The only thing we haven't done is um, the, the break that we learned yesterday. Remember, it's named after that drink that you can get in Cuba, the Cuba Libre. So it's Cuba Libre is made with Coke and lime and a little bit of ice. Do you remember that? And if you have two things that you can play, a low one and a high one, just like I did on my congas here, then that'd be great if you could do that. And we do that at the very beginning of the piece, and we also do it halfway through, just before the words come in for us to sing the song. So, shall we have a go at playing the whole thing through? Um, we need um, Hermano on his trumpet. Uh, Mr. Maracas on the Maracas. Yeah, okay, that's cool. Great Alfredo on... Um, in fact, because we've got Rosario, Rosario, you've got Maracas, haven't you? So maybe Rosario could do the Maraca part, and Mr. Maracas could play the, the cheese grater, the query. There we go, we're all sorted. Brilliant. So whatever part you've got, it'd be great if you can join in with us and we're going to put it all together. So this is just a recap of what we did yesterday. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four. But the is made with coke and lime and a little bit of ice. Here we go. everyone good um great now we were going to ask you a question and i've completely forgotten the rest of my team what what were we going to ask everyone today um can you remember what was our question going to be today mr maracas can you remember what we're going the to ask? kind of dances that we get from cuba there we go that's what i knew we needed mr maracas knowledge for because we have rosario today and rosario is going to show us the dance so on the YouTube comments, if you are allowed to write comments on YouTube, please ask a grown-up first before you do it. Please could you write the names of any type of dances that you think come from Cuba? And then, because we've got Rosaria, our dance expert today, she can tell you whether or not you're right. So, tell you what, um, let's have Rosaria, because we're here with Friday, we've got to have a bit of a party, a bit of a dance, but we need to know how to move for that dance. So, Rosaria, can you show us what to do? Give us some nice little, some movements that we can put with our dancing, put with our music. Hello, hello everybody. Okay, so I'm going to use the chair in a minute because some of the dances, not all, but some of the dances from Cuba you're doing. So I'm going to use the chair as a kind of an illustration to how we move around if we have a partner. But before that, I'm going to teach you a little bit of the footwork. Most of the Latin dances, the footwork is relatively simple famous last words, but the complication comes when you are moving around. So what we are going to be doing, between, I'm not going to tell you the dancing styles, you're going to tell me later, but it's a mixture of different dancing styles from Cuba. And we are going to start on the one, and then put the legs together. So we go one, two, four, one, two, three, four, stress on the one, one, two, and then just let your hips to go with it. If you don't feel comfortable moving the hips, that's fine. Just go one and one and one and one. Okay, so we are going to do that. There is a, a question in the chat box, so I'm just going to hop along. We're fine, it's all right. It's just a little thing, it's fine. All right, you just carry on, it'll be right. <laughs> okay, so we are going to do exactly the same footwork, but we are going to change the orientation before we're doing side by side and now we are going to go back back two three four back two three four back two three four back and back and back so the two one two three four one two three four one two three four change 
and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, change. Same timing, but we are going to cross in front. So we go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So we have three moves now. Sideways, back and front. So here we go. One, two, three, four, side and side and side. Leg back and one and two and three and four. Leg forward and one and two and three and four. Same timing but now we are not going to move the legs. We are just going to move the body and we are doing an isolation. So we go one, two, three, four and and three and four. So I'm going to put the four combinations together. First side, second back, third forward, and the last one is isolation. Here we go. One, two, three, four, two, and three, and four, and back, and one, and two, and three, and four, and forward, and one, and two, and three, and four. So that's a single one. Now, imagine you're dancing around with someone. So what we are going to do is go in this side of the chair first, and then that side of the chair. The important thing is always, always, always keeping the timing. Because if you're trying to rush it, you lose the line. So we just go first to right or left, right or left all the time. And I'm going to be marked, and I will demonstrate in a minute. So here we go. We go one, two, three, four, two, and traveling, three, four, and traveling, five, six, and traveling, seven, and eight. Now we are going to the other side. First right, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. This is just if you want to do something a little bit that is um, a little bit more advanced. And just going around. You can do as many rounds as you want to. Wow. Thank oh. you so much, Rosaria. That's absolutely brilliant to have, have those movements to do. Now, um, I've been looking at YouTube. Um, and Rosaria, we need your help here. Um, so, I tell you what's quite interesting. Because we, we asked, um, can anyone name a dance that comes from Cuba? Um, we've actually had more comments about your yellow radiator behind you than we've had <laughs> than we've had about um, some dancing. So there we go. That's what people are very impressed with your yellow radiator. They like that, um, which is very cool. Um, uh, <laughs> great. Um, so um, we, one person has said, um, "Is the tango from Cuba?" No. Oh, so uh, it was a good guess, isn't it? Because, you know, I'll tell you what, that's probably where that's come from. When we're used to watching that dance program that happens on Saturday nights on BBC One that leads up to Christmas, you know, we're not going to name it in case we get done for copyright. Um, but um, they often have what they call the Latin dances, don't they? And the tango is one of those. Yeah. But when the tango doesn't come from Cuba, where does it come from? Am I answering or someone is... Yeah, no, you can ask us, Rosette. Tell us. That'd be great. Argentina. It's a very interesting one as well because it was originally done in the kind of by the poorest really classes in Argentina by the port so it was sailors and and people that weren't that rich actually but it was when a Parisian a very rich Parisian that went to Argentina was completely besotted by Tango wow. and took it to Europe and that was it that's wow. not I know I'm sure that people that that know a little bit more about Tango can tell you a bit more about it but yes Great, so the tango doesn't come from Cuba. So, doesn't look like we've got anyone else giving us some... Um, oh, wow, yes we have. Right, okay. Salsa. Does salsa come from Cuba? Yes, well, yes and no. Salsa is a Latin dance. Um, there are lots of different types of salsa. Um, there are some representations in Cuba. Well, sometimes in Cuba it's called salsa de casino. So it's a slightly different. The salsa okay. No, it's a little bit more in the UK, it's more from Puerto Rico, Colombia. So it's really quite, the more you get into the genre, the more you uncover all the different strands. Okay, and what about the merengue as well? The That's what someone else has guessed merengue. 
No, it's a salsa and not a Latin dance, but it's more from Venezuela. Oh, okay, see, we're learning a lot this afternoon, aren't we? So, okay, so Rosario, tell us, what is the style of dance that we've, you've been doing um, for our nice Cuban songs day? So the styles I've been borrowing from particular is uh, son, son cubano. So son is S-O-N, isn't it? It's like yep. the, the actual um, the music. And there are quite a few videos on YouTube. People can go in there with people that have been dancing song for years, amazing teachers. So people can really develop that as well. I've been borrowing some elements from the generic salsa because it's what we dance in the UK. So then you can, people can combine some of the steps that they use as well. Great, thank you so much. So I'll tell you what, you now we said this yesterday, that wherever you are at home, if there are any grown-ups at home who have been using this time where you've been drumming with us to not really join in, now's their moment, now's their moment to do the dancing. So can you try and convince all the grown-ups at home to join in the dancing? They might say, but I don't know what to do. That's fine, tell them just to watch Rosaria and they'll be just copy what Rosaria does. We'll have a big party and remember we said, can you video them as well? That'd be really good. And put that on our on our social media channels if you're allowed as well. That'd be great. InspireWorks UK on Twitter, Facebook or Instagram. It'd be great to see your whole, everyone in your home joining in with the drumming, with all the music and joining with the dancing. So shall we have a go at playing our whole piece all the way through? Watch with whatever one of us you want to watch to try and get your part right. Choose whichever rhythm you want to play. Maybe we'll do the dancing instead. Shall we give it a go? Here we go. One, two, a one, two, three, four. Give yourselves a really big round of applause today. Woo! Brilliant. Wow. Tell you what, for me, it's the weekend now. That's it. I'm not doing any work now until Monday. It's the weekend. We've started the weekend. I'm going to go and have a little dip in the sea there. Um, so, you know, we've always said this every day as well, um, that, you know, we are all self-employed. We're self-employed musicians and dancers and artists. And, um, you know, we would, uh, we're not getting much income at the moment. We, we love teaching people how to play music, how to dance and things. But if you are able to donate any money to us, we'd be very grateful. There is our paypal.me address in the description of this video on YouTube. You can have a look at that. And um, we'd be very, very grateful. Tell you because it is a party can we get a real party atmosphere can we all do to get some really nice movies going i know i'm doing some dad dancing at the moment but get your best moves on and let's get going and i tell you what we've got el cheesio um has got oh look he's got his cocktail there as well he started the weekend already that's great good oh it's very noisy that cocktail right so shall we give it a go let's <laughs> let's put everyone all together one final time try and swap to a different rhythm you did before get your biggest best moves on make sure everyone in your whole house is dancing away here we go. One, two, a one, two, three, four. Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> wow, well done everyone. So, that's it, it's the weekend. Can we see you all again on Monday? We'd love to see you on Monday. We are gonna move from Cuba, I'm gonna drive my car somewhere else, and we're gonna move to a different part of the world, but we're not gonna tell you what it is yet, so you have to wait till we see you on Monday. Please tell whoever you can as well, if you use social media, please spread it around social media and say, this is great if you've enjoyed it today, please tell other people, and then can you also make sure you can try and convince them to come and join us on Monday, because we're gonna have some great fun learning some new music on Monday. Have a great weekend, everybody. Bye-bye, everyone.